Welcome guys to a new VR tutorial with this week a subject that I wanted to cover for a long time. How to make a mirror that works in VR. We are going to see two ways to make it. In this first episode, we are going to see the easy way using a render texture. And in the next episode that will be released next week, the best way using my secret technique. So by the way, you already know that this YouTube channel is dedicated to VR development, but for once, this tutorial can work for any type of game. So if you are new here, welcome and feel free to subscribe down below and like this video. You can of course find the source code of this project and all of my others with exclusive content on my Patreon. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Unity. I've made a simple VR setup with hand presence, but also a head for the player that we cannot see ourselves, but you guessed it, which we will be able to see through our mirror. Oh, and this scene is called Low Poly Dungeon Slit. It's a free asset that you can download on the asset store with the link that you will find in the description below. But anyway, now let's get started with our mirror. So the first thing which is the simplest to make a mirror involve a render texture. We are going to make a camera that will display on a quad to create the reflection. For this, I'm going to create an empty game object. So let's right click in the R key, create empty, rename it mirror. Then we can right click again, but on this empty game object this time. Go to 3D object, quad. This will create a simple quad mesh as a child of our mirror. We can select now the mirror parent and move it where we want our mirror to be. In my case, I will simply put it on the wall right there. Oh, and we cannot of course see the quad right now because it's facing the other direction. So let's select it and rotate it 180 degrees on the Y axis. There you go. Perfect. We can see it now. So now we can edit the size of this mirror. And here the aspect ratio is very important for what we will do next. In my case, I want a ratio of 9 by 16. So a vertical mirror. And to do this easily, what I like to do is to write 9 on the X scale, 16 on the Y scale, press R, and then scale everything together. This way, we can edit it as we want, but it will keep the same ratio. There you go, we now have the shape of the mirror. The next step is to set up the camera that the mirror will use. So for this, let's right click on the mirror, select camera, rename it mirror camera, and we can move it a bit behind by setting its position to 0, 0, minus 1. There you go. Now the goal is to make this camera render what it sees on the quad. So let's go to our project folder, right click, create render texture. We can rename it mirror render texture. This is where the aspect ratio of our mirror quad was important. So be careful. We need to give here the same ratio as the mirror. So in my case, as I was 9 by 16, I'm going to write the size 1080 by 1920. Also, keep in mind that the bigger the size, the more computation the mirror camera will need to do. So the best thing is to keep this value as low as possible, even more on mobile. Awesome. Next, let's select back our mirror camera. Go to output. And in output texture, drag the mirror render texture that we just made. There you go. As you can see, now the camera has taken the ratio of the texture and will display what it sees on it. Now important also, as we don't want this camera to move with the head if we have a VR headset, make sure that the target eye is set to none here. Next, we are going to create a material that uses the mirror render texture. For this, let's right click on the project window, create material. We can rename it this time mirror material. Then we can simply drag it in our mirror quad. So at this point, we can simply drag the render texture somewhere in the material. So if I drag it in the base map, as you can see, this is black, but the reason is actually really simple. It's because our mirror camera sees the back of the wall right here. So to fix this, we actually have two techniques possible. The first one is to simply increase the near plane that we have over here. And as you can see, it seems to work now, but I really prefer the second method, which I will show you right now. So let's just hit Ctrl plus Z to go back to the previous settings on the camera. And the best technique, in my opinion, is to simply hide the wall from the mirror camera. So let's go to Inspector Windows, click on Layer, 
add layer, create a new layer called hide for mirror, then let's select both these walls and assign them this new layer. We can now simply select back or mirror camera, go to rendering, cooling mask, click on it and uncheck hide for mirror. And there you go, this way, no more issues. Now the mirror is a bit dark right now. And this is another problem, but this time caused by the mirror material that we made. So what I like to do is to actually go to the material, enable emission and assign the mirror render texture over there. And now I can set the emission color near white. As you can see, it will give a better look. Okay, so right now we can remove the texture from the base map as we already use it in the emission and even give a certain tint to the mirror, for example, a kind of bluish tint looks pretty good to me. Anyway, feel free to customize it as you want, even a dirty glass texture, I don't know. And just like this, in my case, my mirror is ready to be tested. So let's click on play to try this. And there you go, as you can see it works, I can see myself in the mirror, that's pretty cool. But this does not really feel like a mirror right now, more like if there was a giant screen filming me, which is already kind of cool, but let's make it better. The first improvement to make is to actually inverse the quad. Because as you can see, if this was a real mirror, I should be able to not see the torch right here, but on the other side instead. So to do this, let's simply select our mirror quad and put a minus in front of the X axis on the scale. And there you go, this is better already. Next, to create the mirror effect on the camera, what we can do is to actually set the position of the camera to be the mirror position of the player. So to better explain you this, let me quickly grab uh, this paint window that I have here. So this is our player, right? If we place our camera over here on the mirror position over the Z axis and make it look at the player on the mirrored X axis, we should be able to create the effect that we are after. So now we know the plan, let's execute it. Let's first go back to Unity and select the mirror camera, click on add component and add a new script called mirror movement. There you go. So let's double click on this script to open it. Okay, so in this script, I'm going to need two new public transform variable. One is public transform player target and the other is public transform mirror. Now here is the little trick to quickly get the mirror position. <laughs> I'm going to do vector3 local player equals mirror dot inverse transform point player dot position. So this will create a vector3 called local player that is the local position the player would have if it was a child of the mirror. And this is all what's necessary to do because with this local vector that we just created, I can simply invert the axis I want, so the x or z axis in my case, and give it back to the mirror position. So let me show you. For the position, we can write transform.position equals mirror.transform point new vector3 local player.x local player.y minus local player.z. And there you go. This way, we have successfully inverted the position of the player along its local z axis. Now, next, I want the camera to look at the x inverted position, so we can do vector3 look at mirror equals mirror dot transform point new vector 3 minus local player dot x local player dot y local player dot z and finally make the camera look at it with transform dot look at look at mirror and now everything should be okay our camera should follow the mirror z position and look at the mirror x position now let's save and go back to unity to try this oh and before testing don't forget to assign the reference of this script in the unity inspector for the player i'm going to drag the main camera of the xr rig and for the mirror drag the mirror parent and now here you go let's click on play
And here it is guys, as you can see, this is already much better than earlier. The mirror is still working, but we now have a mirror kind of effect when going sideways. This looks really cool. And this is it guys, this is how you can make a simple mirror that works in VR in Unity. But as you can see for now, there are some glitch when getting far or near the mirror and it's not really perfect. That's why in the next episode, we are going to see another secret technique to create this time a perfect mirror system so don't forget to subscribe to not miss this video you can of course support the channel and get access to the source code on my patreon thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye